Hello, and welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we will demonstrate to you how you can restrict and secure unauthorized access to your Drupal APIs using the API Authentication Module in Drupal. This module allows you to authenticate your API requests by verifying the identity of clients using various methods. In this video, we will see how to configure a third-party token-based authentication method. This method involves including a third-party token along with your API request, to verify the user's identity. Let's see how it works. When your application sends an API request with a token in the header, the API authentication module gets the token, and then sends it to a third-party provider for validation. The third-party provider will then validate the token, and send a response to the module indicating whether the token is valid or not. If the token is valid, then you will be allowed to access the Drupal resources. If the token is invalid or missing, will return an error message to your application, restricting your access to the Drupal API. Now let's configure the module. Before proceeding with the video, please ensure you have installed the Mini Orange REST and JSON API authentication module on your Drupal site. We already have a video and setup guide for the installation. You will find links for both in the description. Once you have installed the module, please go to the Extend tab of the Drupal site. Scroll down to the Web Services section. Ensure that you have installed the selected modules. The REST UI is a contributed module that provides you with a user interface for configuring REST resources. Let's take an example of creating user in Drupal using Postman. Click on the Configure button. Scroll down to the User section and click on the Enable button. Now, as our goal is to create user, for that select following configuration and click on the save configuration button. Go to the configuration tab and select REST API authentication configuration. Under the API authentication tab, select external identity provider method. Under user info endpoint text field, enter the user info endpoint of your external provider. For example, we took Okta as a third-party token provider, so we enter the user info endpoint of Okta. In the username attribute text field, enter the attribute name in which your Drupal username will be received from Okta. Then click on the Save External OAuth Details button to save your configuration. Let's try to make server-to-server -server call using the Postman application, to see if this method is working correctly or not. In your Postman application, Enter the URL for creating the user. Under the Body tab, enter the values to create user. You can also find a sample format of these values in the description. And click on the Send button. If you noticed as we have not provided the third-party token in the header, so our module restricts this call. Under the header, enter the token generated by Okta. And click on the Send button. You have successfully created user by making an API request. Let's see if the user has been created on the Drupal site. Go to the People tab of the Drupal site. As you can see user is successfully created. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions please reach out to us at DrupalSupportedSecurify.com.